In this video, I am going to show you how to use your class pen to plot graphs. Now, let's go to the menu screen and then click on graph and table. See, here I have actually uh, got a few graphs that I was playing with. So what I needed to do here is to actually go to clear everything from there so that I can show you properly how to plot it. And then again, on the um, graph screen, go to clear everything. All right. Once you've cleared everything, this should be the screen that you've, you are seeing. Now, go back to the top screen. What I'm going to do is click on there, and let's say I'm plotting y equals to 2x minus 3. So I should type in y. I don't need to type in y because y is already given. So all I need is type in 2x minus 3 and then click on there and click this button you can see that the graph is already plotted for you now you can actually enlarge the graph or move the graph moving the graph by dragging it around or if you want to zoom in or zoom out this is zoom out and this is zoom in zooming in is actually enlarge it and you can see very clearly where the y-intercept is and where the x-intercept is now if you are actually plotting graphs which is really hard to see the intercept what you can do is go to analysis gsoft and you can click on y-intercept and then classpad will show you where the y-intercept is and then for the x-intercept Again, use GSOF, and this is called root. If you click on root, there you go. Classpad have shown you where the X intercept is. Now, I'm going to show you how to plot parabola in this case. Before I do any plotting, I am actually going to clear everything again. So I go to the graphical window and actually click clear all. Same with the top bit, I'm going to do edit and clear all. All right, this time I want to plot y equals to x squared. So here, x to the power of 2, that is y equals to x squared. And if you click execute, it will automatically, automatically show you y equals to x squared. So here, again, I click on this. Bingo, you can see the graph is already plotted for you. Now, what I would like you to do is now plot two graphs for me. y equals to 2x plus 3 and y equals to minus 4x plus 2. So if I do, again, clear everything first. Okay, first one is 2x plus 3. X, I missed the x. And the next one is minus 4x plus 2. All right and then click both and draw the graphs. Now, you can see that it automatically plotted two graphs for you. I am going to show you a way of getting the intersection. If you want to read it, zoom in and drag it down. Well, it's really hard to see what that point is. So go to Analysis, GSOF, and click Intersection. It gives you the intersection value x is minus 0 0.167 and y is 2.6667 all right i'm going to stop here now so this lesson i have actually shown you how to plot graphs and use some of the capability of analysis um, to show you how to get intercept and how to get y intercept and x intercept plus the intersection